Okay, so I'm starting off with my eye makeup first because I've never used this eyeshadow palette before. I have already primed my lids and we're gonna be going into the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Shade Eyeshadow Palette. This is a brand by Drew Barrymore and she came out with a few different palettes. She has a more neutral one, a more bronze one. I also purchased the bronze one. I actually wanted to use the bronze one today. That's the main one I was excited for. I bought both of these on the Walmart website. But when I got the bronze one in the mail, it was completely shattered. So today I'm going to be using this one. This is the Warm Natural Palette. I'm really nervous to see how these perform. They swatch really nicely though. These palettes are $16. And when I first saw the price, I was like, whoa, that's a lot of money for an eyeshadow palette at the drugstore. But it comes with this little brush right here, which is actually a really good quality brush. It's like a little crease brush. And it says, bonus $6 brush. So I'm assuming that's why it's $16. You get the palette for $10 and then this brush for $6. i am going to get started. I'm going to first apply this color right here to my crease. I'm using a Sephora Pro Crease Brush. These are super powdery when you put your brush in. There's a lot of kick up. So hopefully there's not a lot of fallout. So this seems to be blending really nicely. It is powdery, there's a lot of cake up, but it doesn't affect the way it's blending. It's actually blending really nicely into my crease. It's a really, really soft eyeshadow. Next, I'm gonna actually take these two shades and mix them together. This is like a really light mauve and this is a more dark purple. Oh, I put my brush into the wrong shade. <laughs> these two. So I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm gonna put this on my entire lid. And to apply that, I'm just using my Sigma E55 brush. So this eyeshadow isn't as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be much darker than this. I mean, it's, it's packing on pigment, but not as much as I thought it would. I'm really sad my bronze one came broken because I feel like that one would have been perfect. I heard so many great reviews about the bronze one. I'm just gonna purchase it again. I'm gonna go back into the first crease shade we used, this really pretty brown right here, and I'm gonna blend out those harsh edges. So I wanna intensify the eyelid color a little bit more, so I'm gonna take some setting spray. This is my Make It Last setting spray by Milani, my favorite, and I'm gonna take that same brush I used with that all over lid shade. I'm gonna dip it into that color again, and then I'm gonna spray my brush with some setting spray. This is kind of applying a little bit patchy, and I know it's not the setting spray because I usually use Fix Plus to do this, but I've been using my Milani setting spray over Fix Plus and it's been working with other eyeshadows, but I feel like this shadow specifically, I don't know, it's a little off, but that's okay, we will make it work. That did help a little bit though, it does look darker. Going back into that first crease shade we used again, that light brown, I'm just gonna blend some out. So the major thing missing from this palette is a brow bone shade. There is nothing for me to highlight my brow bone. So I'm gonna take this palette right here. This is the e.l.f. Shadow Brow and Liner Palette. This is pretty new and it just comes with a bunch of different browns. You could use this for your brows, for your eyes, for whatever you want. And I'm gonna take this light shade right here and I'm gonna use that to highlight my brow bone. I've never used this palette before either, by the way. And clean up underneath my brow bone here and I'm using my Luxie 213 brush. The next product I wanna try out is this bad boy right here. This is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Shadows. I've heard so many people raving about this. I've had these for a while, but I haven't tried them on my eyes yet. I've just swatched them. I'm gonna take the shade Rose Gold Retro, and I'm gonna pop this on my lids. I don't know if I should just start blending it with my fingers or yeah, okay. I feel like they dry pretty quickly, which isn't a bad thing. You just have to work with them really fast. I'm gonna go back into the flower palette and use that shade I used on my entire lid. And with that little brush that came with this palette, I'm gonna start 
packing this on the outer corners and blending out those harsh edges a little bit. What I do notice with these glitters is once they completely dry, if you try blending on top of them, all you do is just take off the glitter. So as I'm blending this color into my crease, the glitters are just falling off in my crease. So make sure you apply this glitter after you've already applied all of your eyeshadows so that none of it just falls off. I'm gonna take this charcoal color right next to it and I'm only gonna apply a little bit of this on the outer corners just to deepen up the look. I'm just gonna pack it on so I don't disturb any of the glitter. What is that on my computer? This thing keeps popping up and I have no idea what the heck that is. Anyway. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go back into that first brown shadow we used and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna blend out my crease. I'm using a Zoeva 227 brush to do this. I'm gonna go back into that color I was using before this and I'm just deepening up some more. One thing I do notice about this eyeshadow palette it's really easy to correct your mistakes. Like if you apply too much eyeshadow, it's really easy to blend it away because they're so soft and they're so easy to blend. I'm gonna take some of my Simple Wipes and I'm just gonna clean up all the fallout. This is definitely an eyeshadow palette you wanna use before you do your, eye ma uh, your face makeup. Same goes with those glitters. You definitely wanna apply the glitter before you do your face makeup. Okay, you know the drill. I'm gonna start on my face makeup before I finish up my eyes. Let me put on my headband. So the primer I'm gonna be testing out today for the first time is the Corez Greek Yogurt Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I'm a little bit worried to use this if I'm honest because it has a, oh, it has a very strong baby powder scent. And I don't know if that's gonna break me out. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> Feels very nice on the skin, like a really light moisturizer. I wanted to try out something hydrating because the foundation I'm going in with, I feel like it's gonna give me a pretty matte finish. So, the foundation I'm gonna be using today, I'm very excited to use this. I paid a lot of money for it, but when it came out, I had a ton of questions. So many of you guys were asking me to review it. This is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric long wear high cover foundation spf 25 i'm assuming so many of you guys wanted to see how i felt about this one because i wasn't a huge fan of the luminous silk which is weird because i have very dry skin it breaks down way too quickly after about three hours i feel like i'm overly dewy and i just look a little bit greasy which sucks because when i initially put it on i'm obsessed with how it looks like i like wearing it for talking videos if i'm not going to go out during the day because it just looks so beautiful and dewy but i don't like how it wears so i'm kind of excited to try this out i got the shade 4.5 it does look like it's going to be a little bit too dark for me but we'll figure it out i bought it online i don't know how i feel about this primer it kind of just sank into my skin, but I don't really feel any like hydration anymore. So I was really excited to test out this new Real Techniques sponge that I bought on Ulta. I don't know why they made it like two-tone like this. I feel like the top is the Miracle Complexion sponge, which I love from Real Techniques, and then the bottom is just like a pink one, but oh my gosh. I'm kind of shocked. This is completely wet, and it's the exact same size it was when it was dry, so it didn't expand at all, and it didn't get any softer. This sponge is literally like a freaking rock, like, which is kind of shocking considering their Miracle Complexion sponge is so good. Why does this not expand at all? It's like so stiff. Oh, I don't even want to use that because it's so hard. No. Instead, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal sponge that they just recently came out with. I have used this like three or four times and I love it. And I have to say I'm kind of shocked that I love it. No shade to L'Oreal, but I didn't think they were going to master a nice, squishy, soft sponge. But they really, really did. This is already wet and I've already wrung out the... Oh. I guess not. <laughs> I'm gonna use this foundation with a sponge because I have a feeling with my dry skin I should use a sponge. And yeah. Oh, it seems like a pretty good match. In the bottle, it definitely looks darker, right? I don't know. This glittery stuff definitely gives you some fallout. Definitely. You can kind of tell it's darker than my neck. That's okay, nothing a little bronze that won't fix. And I'm sure it'll match me better when we go into the spring and summer months. 
you know, if this is a really long wearing foundation, this might be a really great mixer to use with my Luminous Silk foundation. And then maybe I could actually get like a lot of use out of that Luminous Silk because I have it. And maybe mixing those these two would be a really nice combination. Looking at my skin, ignoring the color, <laughs> I think I really like this. It's slightly matte right here on my nose. It's my problem area. Foundations love to sink into there. It's just a little bit cakey, but not even that much, honestly. The coverage is really good. I would say it's a medium to full. You could still see my disgusting vein right here that I love so much. So I would definitely think it's like a medium coverage, but you could build it to full for sure. It's not really tacky when I put my fingers to it. Just slightly, but nothing that worries me. If you have dry skin, I don't think you're gonna need to set this foundation at all. But I don't find it too drying either. Like, I don't know. I think I really like it. So I'm gonna quickly put on some concealer underneath my eyes, in between my eyebrows, and you know, the whole deal, just to hide my dark circles and to add a little bit of light here so that my foundation looks a little bit more even. And I don't have a new concealer to use, so I'm just gonna be using my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Fair, and I'm also using the Wet n Wild Highlighting and Concealing Pen on top in the shade Ivory Into You. And then I'm just gonna set that with my RCMA No Color Powder because I don't have any new products to use for concealer. Okay, so I was gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with a brand new product I just purchased. Uh, I just purchased maybe like three weeks ago, before my no buy. I purchased it before my no buy. I'm serious. <laughs> I know you guys are gonna be like, really? All of these products in this video were either sent to me or I purchased them. The majority of this, I purchased myself. But it was before my no buy. I really wanted to try this out today. This is the Cohesion Do My Fanchi, I don't know how to say that word, Natural Lighting Powder. It's just a loose powder. It's not translucent, it has like a warm, yellowy color to it, but when you swatch it, it doesn't come off like that. It comes off like pretty light, but then there's like glitter all around it. I don't know. I'm actually really scared to try this because I have a feeling I'm not gonna like it. But I don't know, it might surprise me and might be really good. But I'm scared to use it because this foundation is already pretty matte. I don't wanna just like mattify it even more. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a little bit. Let me I'm gonna tap off like most of it and then just like I didn't know it had all of these shimmers when I bought it, but I don't know, I have to play around with it a little bit more, but I feel like my face looks a little bit shimmery when you look up close. But actually it's very slight, you can't really tell that much. Can you guys tell? I don't think so, right? I don't know how I feel about that just yet. This is definitely something I have to try on a few times with different foundations and different products underneath. I'm gonna take the brown color we first used in our crease, and with this little Real Techniques shading brush, I'm gonna smudge that really close to my lower lash line. You definitely wanna make sure you're tapping off this, this product because it is so powdery that you'll get it everywhere underneath your eyes if you don't tap off the excess. On a tiny little pencil brush, this is the Zoeva 240, it's tiny. I'm gonna take the shade we used on our entire lid and I'm gonna run this really, really close to my lower lashes. Then with that same brush, I'm gonna take this color right here that we used on the outer corners on our lids and I'm gonna focus this on the outer corners of the lower lash line. Then with that first brush we used on our lower lash line, with that first color we used, the light brown, I'm just gonna blend everything out. So I wanna add a pop of color to my waterline and I'm gonna take the new Marc Jacobs eyeliner. These are the highliner gel crayons. I know that they've been around for a long time, but I think they recently changed the formula or they recently revamped them and launched them again. They came out with a ton of new colors. They have the metallic ones like this one that are in the shiny packaging and then they also launched matte ones as well that come in a matte packaging. These were sent to me by Marc Jacobs and I didn't really think anything of them. I was like, oh cool, new eyeliners, but when I swatched some on the back of my hand yesterday and I tried to rub it off like an hour later they were not moving like they would not budge so I'm really excited to use this I'm gonna use this shade orange crush which I know it's weird because it's kind of like a mauve eyeshadow look but I want to go in with like a peachy blush and a kind of peachy toned lip so I want everything to match and I think it would be cool to do like mauve and peach or maybe not we'll see
Hopefully these stay on my waterline the same way they stayed on my hand. It was crazy. I'm gonna go back into the e.l.f. shadow brow and liner palette and clean up my brow bone again. And then I'm gonna use this on my inner corners as well. I know it's matte. I am gonna go over it with my face highlight in a little while, but I'm just gonna put this down as kind of like a base. It just brightens up the inner corners a bit. This is the Catrice Glam and Doll Super Black Liner. Haven't tried this out yet. I'm just gonna add a very tiny, tiny wing. I was really excited to use this eyeliner when I tried it on, on the back of my hand yesterday because when I swatched it for the first time, it seems very matte and very black, which I really like. So I'm excited to give this a go. I'm not the best at winged eyeliner, you guys know this. Um, this is pretty good. It seems to be really black and matte, but the tip is just a little bit hard to get a really sharp line at the end. I'm gonna keep using it. I'll see how it goes. For mascara, I'm gonna use this guy right here. I just got this. This is the Essence The False Lashes Mascara for dramatic volume. So I'm excited, I'm excited. Okay, so this is the mascara on my eyes. Let me zoom in. I think I really like it. I think I'll like it even more without winged eyeliner underneath because that way I could really tell a difference. It is a little bit clumpy. Definitely not my favorite mascara, but Essence is so affordable that I think this is a good mascara to try out if you're in the market for something inexpensive. Okay, so the eyes are officially done. Now I'm gonna move on to my face. More flower beauty stuff to try out. I'm so excited. She came out with two Lift and Sculpt contouring palettes. She came out with this one in light to medium and this one in medium to deep. I had to go into a Walmart to purchase these as opposed to the other flower stuff that I got on the Walmart website. I got both of them just to try them out, but I think I'm gonna go with the light to medium, this one right here. I'm gonna try out this bronzer right now. I'm going to take my multitask brush from Real Techniques. These are also very powdery. When I swatch them, they're like, look, that's a lot, a lot of stuff comes up. So all of these powder products are very soft. I'm gonna take some of this onto my neck just because that foundation was a little bit too dark for me. I like the color of this. It is warm. Well, it's more of a pinky bronzer as opposed to like a orange bronzer. Okay, so I think I really like that. I feel like it warmed up my skin really nicely. I'm not gonna use the highlight or the blush in this palette just because she released an actual highlighting palette and I wanna give this a go. And she released some blushes. These are the two that I bought. This one is a more mauve color called Sweet Pea. So beautiful. And this one is called Peach Primrose. I love the design of these blushes. They have a really beautiful flower. I'm gonna use Peach Primrose. I have been dying to put this on my face since I got it. I'm gonna take this little tart brush. I got this in like a holiday collection and I'm just gonna use that. I think that is so pretty. It's not overly pigmented, but it gives you a beautiful flush of like a peach. Oh, I love it. Very impressed with this. I hope it lasts a long time on my skin. For highlight, I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. It says it's long lasting and it gives you a natural luminous glow. They look ultra metallic. I haven't tried it on my cheeks, but just swatching them, I know I'm gonna like it. They have a really nice buttery formula. I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's the lightest color. Usually I don't like something so intense, I like something a little bit more natural, but I really, really like these highlights. I'm gonna put some of that on my nose and on my cupid's bow. I'm gonna take this pinky one in the center. I'm gonna use that to highlight my inner corners. This is a tight line brush by Urban Decay, the E213. Sometimes you get highlights at the drugstore and you put them on and you're like, where's the highlight? There's like no highlight to this. This, however, is very highlighting. <laughs> 
So I really, really like those highlights. Really love that bronzer. That blush is beautiful. Now I'm going to finish off the look with my lip color. I'm going to go in with this new dose of colors liquid lipstick. This is the shade Supernatural. They just sent this to me and I haven't tried it out yet. Okay, so that completes this makeup look. I really love how it turned out. Really quickly though, I might as well just try this out. This is the Algenis Splash Hydrating Setting Mist. And I recently hauled this, but I haven't even tried it yet. Let me try it. Hey, wait a minute. How's, is this like not fun? The spray on this is weird as well. I feel like I'm so used to my Milani one. This one doesn't give me like a really good mist to where it falls on my face. I kind of have to put it a lot closer because if I do this, like none of it falls on my face. That is a lot. I feel like I had to spray a lot to feel that on my face. Maybe because my AC is on and it's like pushing the spray that way when I'm trying to spray it this way. It does seem to be hydrating my skin. Okay guys, so that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed this chatty, full face, first impressions video. If you want me to do more of these, let me know. I'd love to gather like products to use on my entire face that I've never used before and then film me trying them on and giving you my first impressions. So yeah, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Still some water in this. I cannot find the flower brush anywhere. The one I just took out of the palette? Ah.